I'm Stuart Tuttle, Chargé d'Affaires at the U.S. Embassy here in Panama City. It's been over two months now since I arrived in Panama, and what an eventful 10 weeks it's been. But most importantly, on October 12th, Panama resumed commercial air travel. U.S. citizens and other travelers may now enter Panama as long as you have a negative COVID-19 test within 48 hours of arrival. U.S. citizens who test positive for COVID-19 after arriving in Panama will be required to observe a 14-day quarantine. Those who don't have a residence in Panama will have to quarantine in a hotel under the supervision of the Ministry of Health. You can find out more details about these entry requirements on the COVID-19 information page on our website, which is pa.usembassy.gov. Hotels, restaurants, and other businesses are now open at reduced capacity with mandatory health precautions in place, such as requiring social distancing, the wearing of masks, and temperature checks. Taking all this into account, the State Department on October 26th changed our travel advisory status from level four, do not travel, to level three, reconsider travel. You can see the travel advisory at travel.state.gov or on our MC website. As you consider whether or not to travel, please remember that COVID-19 remains a serious health threat in Panama and mandatory health precautions remain in place. These mandatory precautions include wearing masks at all times in public, temperature checks at the entrance to restaurants, shops, and businesses, and social distancing in public. There are legal consequences to not adhering to these mandatory precautions. You can find out more about these precautions on our embassy website. Also, please keep in mind that while our embassy's American Citizen Services Unit is open for all services, it is open with limited hours and with only a limited number of appointments. Its ability to help U.S. citizens outside the Panama City area also remains limited due to the current circumstances. So remember to follow the Panamanian Ministry of Health, or MINSA, for COVID-19 updates here in Panama. If you do travel or are already in Panama, please register at the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program at step.state.gov. Finally, and most importantly, Take good care of yourselves and your families. Thanks.